Hey, what's going on? If you want to get a complete system that makes melting fat easy and is 100% automated, then I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of your page right now. Um, YouTube doesn't let me make that link clickable, so you're gonna actually going to have to type it into your browser. Or I'll also put a the copy of the link in the description so you can click on that or type it into your browser. All right. For now, enjoy the video, and after you're done with this video, make sure to go to that link to get a complete fat melting system. So now we're gonna get into a couple uh, more advanced techniques. These are more of our power punching and uh, they're gonna really uh, improve your game as far as knocking people out. And uh, on top of that, it's another uh, part of our workout and our striking because we're gonna work different muscles. We're gonna work our core a lot, uh, different, different muscles in our legs and different muscles in our shoulders, our biceps, our triceps, everything. So let's get into it. And I have, I have Angela here. She's gonna help demonstrate. Uh, she has very little experience, uh, uh, pretty much none. I'm teaching right now hooks and uppercuts. So if she can do it, you can do it, all right? <laughs> so she's, we're gonna get into our hooks and uppercuts. So when we throw, the first one we're gonna learn is our left hook, okay, or our lead hook. So if you're an uh, orthodox fighter like me, where you stand with your right hand back, right foot back, your lead hook is your, lead, is your left hand. So that's your, that's your lead. If you're a southpaw, where, you stand, where you're naturally left-handed, your lead hook is your right hand. Okay, but all the same rules apply, it's just we're just going back and forth. I'm gonna teach orthodox with your right hand back because that's what most of you are gonna be, which is right-handed, all right? So, Angela's gonna get in her stance, right foot back, back heel off the ground, hands are up by her cheekbone, okay? And we're gonna do our, le our left hook. So when we do that left hook, we're here, all right? The first thing we wanna focus on doing is using our legs, incorporating our legs. So with the legs, we're gonna do, this is what left hook, left hook looks like, by the way. All right, very simple. So left hook, we want cheekbone level, elbows down. When we throw this left hook, the first thing we want to focus on doing is twisting our lead leg, all right? Now this is the one, uh, one of the one exceptions where that back heel is gonna go to the ground. So first step we're gonna do, back heel to the ground. Boom, left heel up and pivot, okay? Pivot. Now if you see how Angela, she's not doing anything except pivoting off her left foot to pivot. Boom, good, so she get back, back in her stance, right heel off the ground. And now when I say pivot, drop the right heel, pick up the left heel and pivot. Perfect. And one, two, three. Good. So back, start on your, in your stance, back heel off the ground and pivot. Good. And the pivoting's doing is, go back to the beginning. When she pivots, her hip is here. Now she's going to pivot, but, and now her hip's over here. And that's twisting your whole body so now we can really land that power, that power shot and, and incorporate our whole body in this workout. So we're using our obliques right here. We're using our legs, our calf muscles, everything, and we're going to really fire that left hook in there. So. Now upper body portion. Upper body portion, when we throw this left hook, we want, again, whenever you're punching somebody, we're hitting these two big knuckles. The elbow's gonna come up, hands gonna go out, and with this hook, you can, you can do, try a couple ways. Whatever one you're more comfortable with, you can have your hand like here, like so, or like so. Either one's fine, okay? So you can twist it, thumbs up, or thumbs pointing you. They're both fine, depending on which world champion coach you train with. They're all gonna say different things. I've, I've trained with uh, Dominic Cruz's coach, who's uh, the bantamweight world champion, and he likes the hooks thrown this way. I've trained with a couple other coaches that like them this way, and they've trained world champions as well. So it just depends uh, on whatever you're comfortable with. All right, and I, I like, uh, I mix it up. So Anna's gonna demonstrate. So first step when we're doing this is back heel comes down, front heel comes up, elbow comes up, hand comes out, and we pivot. All right, that's, that's, that's simple. So back heel down, front heel up, elbow up, hand out to wherever the target is. This is gonna be a variable, okay? We wanna keep it pretty hooked though, hence the name hook. And right here, I'm pivoting. So in one motion, we wanna put it together, it looks smoother, bah, we're just blending them all together and make it a little bit less mechanical. All right, Angela, let me see you demonstrate. Let's see how, how quickly you pick this up. Hey, what's going on? If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a huge favor and click on the like button below. Uh, you'll get your good deed for the day out of the way. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. Something as simple as good video or I enjoyed the video. Uh, it really helps me out with YouTube. All right, here's the rest of the video. The hands are up and pivot and hook. Boom, good. Hand comes out, pivot, punch. Wait. Elbow up, one, two, three, punch. Bah, perfect, good. Face it this way. Hands up, chin level, good. Back heels off the ground, perfect posture. And she's going to throw that hook. Bah, good. Throw that hook. And she's always looking at me. She never takes her eyes off the target, right? One, two, three, and pivot. Good. Hit the hands and pivot. Bah. Good. Perfect. Just like that. And now let's go over the common mistakes. Some of these common mistakes when you throw this left, the left hook or the lead hook is that right hand will come down. We always want to make sure we keep those hands up. So when, we, when, when Angela throws this punch and move her around here, she wants to make sure she keeps her right hand up. Left hook, 
Bah, good. She doesn't drop that right hand. It's a big, a big mistake. And this is one of the biggest uh, 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 errors when you throw that left hook, and it's a big problem because one of the counters to a left hook, if she throws a left hook at me, I can always throw a left hook at her, all right? And if her hand's down, and my hand's up when I throw this left hook, boom, she's getting hit and I'm not. So I always want to keep that left hand, that the other hand up when we throw that hook, all right? Very simple. Andrew's, Andrew's going to demonstrate one more time from all the angles. She's going to get her stance, throw a left hook, bah, good. Face that way, and then left hook, boom, perfect, all right? So she just learned left hook, just pretty much the same that you're gonna learn it. Uh, she has never known it before, and now she knows it now, okay? So that's a left hook. It's a really good punch. Uh, you're, you're utilizing a, a bunch of your core muscles that you don't get when you do that jab cross, all right? Same concept applied with our stance. We always wanna make sure that we always stay in our stance, move left, step left, move right, step to the right, our chin's down, hands up, shoulders relaxed, elbows down, all right? So now let's get into our next punch. Uh, whoa, let's one little thing. When we throw the hooks, all right? We're only gonna throw right now, learn with our lead hook. A lot of people like to throw against this stance, they like to throw this, this right hook or the, the back hook. And um, for right now, we're starting off, we're not gonna learn the, the, the rear hook. It takes, it's really an unrealistic punch. It, it, for right now, it takes too long to hit. And uh, if we get used to throwing that, it's gonna build bad myelin. And you're just gonna be like, you've ever seen like, you know, street fight people going like this. We don't wanna do that. We wanna be trained. So we throw straight punches down the pipe. And these are a lot faster to get to them and a lot more effective. This lead hook, it's close, that's why we can throw it, boom. But if I try to throw this right hook, it takes so long to get to. If you go against anybody experienced, they're gonna be able to tag you or, or hit you before that right hook gets there, okay? So we're only gonna learn lead hook right now. Uh, let's get into our uppercuts. We're in our stance, she's getting in our stance, okay? When we throw the uppercuts, uh, lead or rear uppercut, we're gonna learn both, the same rules apply. We always follow it with the hip and we follow it with the foot. So meaning, I'm gonna demonstrate first. Uppercut, 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 uppercut. So same rules apply. Whenever we throw this uppercut, we're going to follow it with the hip. So if I throw right uppercut, I'm following with the hip and the foot. So I dip down, the hip follows, the foot follows. Wah! That's where I'm getting all my power in my legs, okay? Same thing left, lead, the lead uppercut. Boom, hip follows, foot follows. Wah! I twist it in that, in that direction. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach Angela these, these uppercuts. So she's in her stance, okay? So let's do this way, Angela. She's in her stance. Hands are up, cheekbone level, elbows are down when she throws the uppercut. Now, if we just throw an uppercut like so, all we're using is, uh, is our shoulder, and we want to use our whole body. One, because we want, we want to be able to strike harder, and two, we want to make it a full body workout so we get ripped. <laughs> so, right here, hands are up. She's going to learn the throw right uppercut first. First thing we want to do is we want to drop our level just a little bit. Now our, our legs are loaded. We cocked our legs. Second thing we want to do is bring our hands just down a little bit, and third thing you want to do is fire that hip forward and twist that right foot as we throw the uppercut up. Bah! Just like so, okay? So in one motion, we go down, up. Good. And you go down, hand drops, and up. Boom. Now another reason we go down is because I want to keep this hand by my face as long as possible. If I just come here, now it's a far, my hand's really far from my face. I want to go down, cock it a little bit, and up, okay? Bah! Throw an uppercut. This strikes, uh, the hook and, and the uppercuts are really good strikes because when people get used to, if her hands are up, they get used to blocking these, these front ones, blah, 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 and then they get their hands up and then you throw your side ones or right up the middle ones for, for uppercuts. They're really powerful strikes. Uh, they're, they're personally my favorite strikes. So that's the rear uppercut. And just show us one more time that rear uppercut. Dip, pop, good. She dip, drops it down, and loads it. Dip, drop it down, and uppercut, boom, good. Now lead one's the same thing. Uh, it feels a little awkward because the lead one's right here, but I'm going sh to show you a couple of little tips to get this one down. The lead one, if we just drop here, it feels weird. So we, what we want to do is we want to cock it. So we drop and dip a little bit. So now it's loaded up. I loaded up my hip. Same rules apply. Drop it a little bit and fire up. Follow it with the hip and the foot. So Angela's going to demonstrate. So now Angela's going to demonstrate our lead uppercut. So she gets in her stance. Good. Back heels off the ground. Perfect. Her hands are up. So she's gonna lower her level and cock this left side. So lowers her level and see how she loads up her hip and her shoulder. Now she dips it down a little bit and at the same time she's gonna follow her hand up with her shoulder, I mean with her, with her foot and her hip. One, two, three, up, bah, just like so. And her right hand stays up. She's not making that common mistake where her right hand drops. So do it again, Angela, let me see, dip and up, bah, good. Dip, here and up, boom, good. You wanna drop that hand a little bit because if you just, if you just dip, 
and here you're not going to hit anything. Yeah, here, drop it down and come out. Okay, you might come out, but the target's going to be in front of you. So, and as we do it one more time, bah, better. Good. <laughs> She's got it down. And obviously, you can see uh, the reason that you're watching this is that uh, you, you need to practice, you need to learn. Okay, so you're, if, if everyone got it their first day, if you got the uppercut the first time you tried it, everyone would be like world champions or everyone would be like professionals. So it takes practice. You're, 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 lear you got, you're learning it today, um, you're gonna get it down really well, but then tomorrow's gonna be even better, and the next day it's gonna be even better, and two months from now you're gonna have it like a pro. But you don't learn everything like a pro the first day. That's why, that's why you're watching this, that's why you're gonna practice, and you have to build that myelin up, all right? Even though you see it and you understand all the little details, your body and the muscles, they don't know how to work properly to get this done, so you're gonna teach your body how to do it, and eventually it's gonna be instinctual. You know, Somebody tells me to throw a cross, now I can throw it. Um, Angela, we just did the jab cross last time. Angela, let me let me let me, let me see that right uppercut. She she's gonna throw a better right uppercut than right she, than she did last time. All right, so the right uppercut here, she's gonna dip down and pop it off. Bah, perfect. All right. Now you see that little common mistake she made. Uh, Do that uppercut. She wants to keep this hand up. All right. The big mistake is we drop our hands when we throw these uppercuts, or we throw a jab across, or anything. So she dips down again, right uppercut. Boom. Perfect. Okay. So that's our 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 left uppercut, our right uppercut, and our left hook, or our lead hook. So we got lead. Uppercut, rear uppercut, and lead hook. These are really dynamic strikes. If we're in our stance, I'm unboxing Andrew right now. I, I, got, I got my straight punches now. We learned our jab cross. I have my uppercuts. Bah. I have my hooks. Boom. So we can mix it up now. It's a, it's a lot harder game for other people to stop. And on top of that, we have uh, a, a more dynamic game so we can use our full body and get a full body workout every time we do these things. So we're working in all areas of our abs, all areas of our legs, all areas of our, of our shoulders and our arms, our biceps, our triceps, everything. All right. So let's go. Let's go into detail now. A little little bonus. And their stance. I'm gonna have you right here. Get your stance back off the ground. Perfect. A little detail detailed uh, bonus I'm gonna show right now is key points to hit somebody. So since we're training, since you're learning how to, how to strike, you might as well learn where, where to hit somebody. These are, these are really good for self-defense. They're really good for competition, uh, not just punching at the face and punching at the stomach and the body. I tell my students all the time that we never aim for the head and we never aim for the body. Never. It's pointless. There's no reason to train. Uh, people that, you know, that don't train and go to, go to, if somebody goes to fight Angel, they're going to try to punch her in the face and punch her in the body. We're never going to punch to the face of the body. We're going to punch specific areas. So I'm never going to punch the face. I'm going to punch to the nose. I'm going to punch the chin, I'm going to punch the edge of the chin, I'm going to punch the temple, I'm going to punch behind the ear or at the ear, I'm going to punch the liver, the kidneys, the middle of her, of her, uh, her solar plexus, knock the wind out of her. I'm going to punch specific areas. So we have our liver, our nose, our, our chin, uh, temple, all these places. So the nose is one of the key places we're going to attack. If you hit the nose, uh, one, if we, uh, when you hit the nose, it's going to make your eyes water. If you, if you break it with you know, our jab, our cross, our hook, our uppercut, any of those, uh, it's going to do a lot of damage and it swells up so they can't see. Uh, second place we have is the chin. Uh, chin it knocks people out really easily. And one of the reasons is it's a real high leverage point to hit. And what happens is it's your bones connects over here and it acts like it hits and it causes your brain to rattle inside. And that's how people get knocked out. Your brain sits inside liquid and then there's a skull. And if your brain gets hit so hard that the brain goes through the liquid and hits the skull and bounces back, that's how you get knocked out. And the chin's one of the key places you wanna to hit to knock somebody out. So we wanna aim for the edge of the chin. We wanna aim for the eyes. If we can hit somebody with two knuckles in the eyes, it's gonna blind them in that eye. Uh, also, to break that orbital bone because your eye is designed, uh, if it gets hit hard enough, that it'll drop down in, 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 your, uh, in your face, in your skull, behind your orbital bone, and your orbital bone will break to protect it. Uh, so that's, uh, your body's designed to protect your eyes. Your eyes are one of your, you know, key elements of life, you have to have your eyes. So hitting the eyes, uh, hitting the temple, temple, right, anywhere around the ear is gonna cause serious damage, and also on top of that, it's gonna be a lot easier to knock you out and knocks off your equilibrium. As for the body, body's the most underrated place to strike, and it's my favorite place to strike. I like to attack the liver specifically. So if somebody face me fighting, boom, in stance, good, she's fighting me, right? The liver is always on the right side of a person. So it's on my right side, it's off to the, if, if I take the middle of my right side, it's right in the middle, right under the rib. So if I take the middle of Angela, the middle of her right side, right here, find her ribs right here, it's right under the rib. So if I can connect right there, boom, here in the liver, it'll shut down your body. It's the most painful place to hit. If you ever see somebody getting hit in the liver, they get hit and they can't move, they fall to the ground, it's, it's crazy bad. We also got the kidneys, which are right behind like the love handles, right here, and they cause you to pee blood. And, um, the sternum, right in the sternum, and hit somebody, knock the wind out of them. Okay, but you want to hit the specific areas. We're not just aiming for the body, liver, sternum, kidneys, 
uh, soft spots, which are all on the side right here under the ribs, very soft, and, and, they, and they hurt a lot. So these, these specific areas are points we want to attack with our, with our jab, our cross, our hooks, and our uppercuts. Right? So it's really crucial that we attack those points. So for drilling, uh, I want a total of 100 strikes. It can be 100 of either uppercuts or hooks. Either one of those, you're going to do 100 of them. And you're going to drill them on, uh, we have Bob here, so we can, we can go over our specific points to attack the chin, nose, the, the liver, everything like that. If you don't have something like Bob, you just have a bag, uh, you just want to focus on hitting specific points of the bag. So instead of just hitting the bag, I want to hit the edge of the E right here, or that yellow spot, so we get, get good accuracy. Because accuracy is key. If, you, if you're really accurate, you, you can, it's a lot easier to knock them out than just being really powerful. Because if we're powerful and we're hitting people you know, on the top of the skull and the forehead and stuff, we're going to break our hand and we're not going to knock them out. You know, but if we're, if we're accurate, we can be a lot weaker uh, person to hit somebody in the perfect spot and they're going to go to sleep. So Angela's going to show us, uh, we're going to drill, she's going to do about 10 of them. But it's 100 strikes, perfect practice, okay? So she's in her stance, she's only allowed to throw uppercuts and hooks. So she's only attacking those key points like the chin, the nose. The, the ear, the liver, the sternum. So she's going to give me a, a left hook to the chin. Left hook to the chin. Ba, and she rotates on, on her lead foot. So let me see it again. One, two, three. Ba, good. She's going to give me a right uppercut to the chin right here. Ba, excellent. Left uppercut to the liver. Ba, so you want to do little things like that. Uh, just 100 strikes. And again, we're just building up that myelin so it's automatic. We don't have to think about it. We just throw those strikes in there. So now we're going to get into a, a technique or a drill I like to do that's going to strengthen these muscles so we can punch harder, faster, and uh, just get in a better shape. So what she's going to do are, are sit-up twists. And I like to do this around the bag. You can do anything. You can lock your legs around it. So she's going to lay down, lock her legs around the bag, and it's going to really strengthen all those muscles that it takes uh, in your core to be really that twist and that fast pop-off. So what she's going to do is we're going to do, we can do anywhere um, from 25 to 100, whatever you're comfortable with. I like to do 50, so uh, we're building up that, that myelin for the twist. So she's going to come up, she's going to keep her hands up the whole time, so we always get trained and keep our hands up high. And uh, she's going to sit up, throw a right hook, go down. Ba, good. Keep that elbow up, sit up, left hook, down, good. And she's really focusing on twisting that body so we can get those abs and those obliques. Up, hook, ba, and down. Up, and see how her hands are up the whole time, back up. And back up, and she's just going non-stop, working those abs and working the, the, that twist. So we're really strengthening it so we can get those power shots in. Good job, Angel. <laughs> so she's good. <laughs> she had those hooks in. Just do that. It's really going to help strengthen you. It's going to give you uh, an awesome ab workout and core workout for you to get better at these punches. A real quick, one more thing before you go. I want to make sure you know that there is no correlation between how hard you work and how much fat you melt or how much muscle you build. All right. There's enough science, enough data out there that there's absolutely no correlation between hard work and results. All right. There's a difference between movement and achievement. All right. If you want to learn my best tips, what I call the 5% hacks that allow you to get maximum results, maximum fat loss, maximum lean muscle gain, I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of this page or you can click on the link in the description. All right. You're going to get a complete system for melting fat in an intelligent and streamlined system. I'll see you there.